so today, as you can see, I don't have makeup on my face again. Oh my gosh, this is gonna become a trend on Art and Rose. I am going to be doing my everyday makeup routine because I actually got quite a few comments saying, Arden, do your makeup routine. You haven't done one in a while. So I'm gonna go through and show you guys my foundation routine as well as my makeup routine because my foundation routine is so blessedly simple that I like can't even make a whole video about it. While I have the daylight still, or we're hoping that it'll stay for a little while, I'm going to film this. So let's get started. All right guys, so first things first, I'm gonna put up my hair so it won't be in my face. Next I'm plugging in my headphones and putting on my headphones because I like to listen to music or audiobooks or something like that while I'm working. So this is Audible and I'm listening to A Wild Sheep Chase. First, I'm applying Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation from Tarte. And this is in Fair Honey so that you guys know what color I use. I freakity freaking love this stuff. And this is what I was talking about when I said that I had a beautifully, wonderfully simple foundation routine. This is the only thing I do for my foundation. Literally, wipe it all on my face and I'm done. Flawless. Ladies, flawless. Next, I'm using the One Hot Minute Bronzer and spilling it all over my purse. Yes, it spilled into my purse. Happy day. Anyways, I'm using a round top kabuki brush and really buffing that into my cheekbones. I'm also going to do my nose and my chin and my forehead and stuff. But don't worry, I'm going to blend out that other side. Watch, here we go. Oh, blending. There's things that are being blended. Blended, 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 blended. Yes, I will not have just like orange face, hopefully by the end of this video. Let's find out if I do. I didn't look over this footage before I edited it. Whee! Okay, so there's my bronzing. Good to know, keeping blending and stuff. Why did I have so much longer of a clip? Okay, here we go, we're done! Hey! Now moving on to the Rocketeur blush. This stuff is amazing, I freaking love it. It's kind of like a frosty, mauve pink, and I'm all about that. So I'm just applying that onto the apples of my cheeks and sweeping it upward and blending it out. And there you go, look at that, ooh, beautiful. Now time for the eyes, because the eyes are the window to the soul, and I want you to see my soul. So first I'm going to prime my eyes with RSVP, which is benefits like cream shadow or creaseless base or I don't know, something like that. You can look it up. It's called RSVP. Either way, it's a really pretty champagne pink, and I just apply that all over my lid as my eyeshadow base. So nice, so nice. Now going in with the NYX Stormy Skies palette, which I adore. I'm using these two shadows. And the first one is kind of that same RSVP-esque pink, so I'm just applying that all over the lid of my eye. That means everywhere, even the brow bone, because I'm actually not going to apply a brow bone highlight this time, because in my everyday makeup routine, I'm too lazy to do that kind of thing. I want to use two eyeshadows, and that's it. So, next I'm taking a blending brush and going in with a brown, the brown that I pointed to earlier, and just blending, blending, blending that. And I know this is a really long clip, but here's the thing. I have ICD, which is impulse control disorder, and I also have like a little bit of a tendency towards OCD. And I really hate it in like makeup videos when people don't show like full on blending. So here's my full on blending for all those people who are just like, Arden, blend your eyeshadow. I decided to leave a longer clip in. There you go. Happy day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> And now we are moving on to my eyelash curler. So I'm going to curl my eyelash curler with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. And then I'm going out with my favorite Lancome mascara. I've showed this to you guys a million times before. It's the Star Mascara. And just applying thin coats of that on my eyelashes because my eyelashes are very small right now. And so there's not really a reason to put a whole lot of mascara on them. I just use a crap ton of eyeliner. So yay! Yay! So apply that on both. I really only did one coat. I did a second coat later on afterwards because I like to do it after it dries. Now I'm going in with my eyeliner, which is the Ico eyeliner, and just basically a lot of you guys ask me how I do this. I flick it upward and then I just drag it across, as you can see. It's a very, very simple way to do eyeliner, and I think a lot of people are scared of liquid eyeliner for no reason. If you're using a felt tip pencil or pen eyeliner, it is so mind-bogglingly simple, not like bogglingly, bogglingly, I can't say words. It's easy, and so it should be easy for you guys too. <laughs> Next, going in with my eyebrow gel. This is my tinted eyebrow gel from Anastasia, Anastasia. And I'm just applying that on my eyebrows so that it gives them definition and I don't look like I have ghostly eyebrows, because sometimes 
I don't know, I just need like some fullness to my brows, so I, uh, you know, like to do that and whatever. Plus it sets them in place so nothing wonky happens throughout the day, because if there's one thing I can't stand, it's wonky eyebrows. And after that we are completely done, so there you go, how beautimous. Let's do some toss and tiaras poses, yay! Alright guys, so that is it for my everyday makeup routine. Thank you to the person who commented. Hey, look at that. I really appreciate when you guys give me ideas for the next video. So please don't forget to comment below and let me know what you want to see next. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and you like routine videos. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see my next video and be updated when it comes up. See you guys next time. Bye.